At this point, I really don't think the Keras Encrypt needs an introduction. It has existed since the games released, sealed off behind Karasan, and I am pretty sure you all know about it and have seen countless of explorations of it both on my channel and elsewhere. It is one of my favorite places in the entire game, and the reason I'm talking about it now is because a few weeks ago, some really interesting changes were made to it. Now, at the time I was occupied with some health related stuff, so I couldn't cover it when it was actually implemented, and when it was up and running again, so much time had passed that this didn't really feel like news anymore. However, every time someone mentioned this to me on Twitter, I get this kind of legion hype, because all the changes point to the fact that we might finally get to experience Karas and Crips in some way. And I just felt the urge to talk about it, so whether or not you already knew about it, let's just talk about the changes, because if we finally get to see Karas and Crips, that will just be so unbelievably amazing. So the first thing they have done is that they have actually raised the gates which were previously sealing off the entire area. Now that doesn't mean you can just waltz right in because they have actually added another gate right behind it. And while that is quite an odd decision, it does give us the opportunity to get closer and look inside. And here we can see the other changes. Most notably, there is a big barricade which blocks the path further into the crypt, but there also seem to be an altar of some sort. Now, to get inside, you could just use the regular trick, which requires you to place yourself behind the crypt, mount up, disconnect, log back in, and then pass through the walls and into the crypt. However, that is completely unnecessary, because you can just hop on a mount, fly up in the air, drop down, make sure your character dies, release spirit, and run through the new gate as a ghost and resurrect on the other side. After that, we can get a better look on the changes in this room. The Well of the Forgotten used to be an opening in the floor where you could drop down on the big pile of bones deep down in the catacombs. Now the opening is sealed off and there is an altar placed before it. A few bones and a skull lie scattered on it and right beside a magical rune glows on the floor. On the other side of the well a collection of candles are burning, covered in spiderweb and more skulls. Now, whatever this is eventually intended to become, you can expect all of it to be placeholders. But when I see this, I really get this original Skullomans vibe, which really gets my hype going. But anyway, let's move on and look at the barricade. This does two things. It blocks us from continuing down the crypts, but it also blocks our vision so we can't see what's going on on the other side. Now, this really isn't much of an issue because there is a very easy way to get behind it. And that is basically to repeat the process that brought us in this room in the first place. You'll have to hearthstone out and return, die again, run down as a ghost, and you can just run through the barricade. Now you're free to explore the rest of the crypt, but before you get too excited, I can tell you that there has been no other changes made to it. So far, it is still the good old crypt that you know and love from before, but just the fact that they have sealed it off and made changes to the first room gives me hope that there will actually come an overhaul of this place, and then we will get to experience it. Because there is actually one more change that has been made, the area has been renamed from Crypt to Forgotten Crypt. Sure, there is still a possibility this is all a hoax to mess with the data miners. I for one haven't forgotten the Medivh's big birthday bash slash Karasan 2 eclectic boogaloo incident. But I'm putting all my faith that we will actually get this place now. It has also been noted that the front gate is triggered by the Broken Shore event, which just furthers my hopes. The dream scenario for me would be if this somehow became the 7.1 Karasan dungeon which was hinted at BlizzCon. Just imagine going down into an overhauled version of this place to uncover the darkest secret of Karasan. It would be by far the best patch dungeon I could ever imagine. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Will we get Karasan Crypts in Legion? And if we do, in what way do you think we will get it? Also, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back with more stuff very soon. This was mostly spontaneous ramble because I love Keras and Crypt, so there is actually another video coming already in a day or two. So I'll be seeing you guys soon, but until then, take care.